What's up, Leo? This is going to be for the Leo Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in North Node. As you already know, what's happening for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in North Node, baby? What's good? What's this going on? Y'all already know, like, comment, and subscribe. What's up, you guys? How you guys doing today? I appreciate all you guys' love and support. Appreciate you guys. Give thanks to the Most High for waking you up today to see another day. That's the blessing within itself. Let's see what's going on. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node. What's the energy today for my Leos? <laughs> what's up? So we have Roll the Dice. So someone could have a gambling addiction for sure. Someone could be going back and forth on um, a, about a family situation here as well. I feel like something is getting ready to come to a completion here. I'm getting a number nine, even the number 10. So something is getting ready to complete. Somebody is, is getting ready to make a decision about a situation. Like I said, I'm also getting somebody could like to play dice someone. Um, yeah. Someone could have a gambling addiction too. But I'm also getting to there's fears. There's fears about a decision that needs to be made. Someone is nervous about a decision. Also, again, you connect to, with somebody. You connect to somebody um, through music. I'm also getting here. Uh, somebody may communicate with you through music, or music make a person think about you. And this person hears certain songs. They could think about you. Somebody could play the guitar. Somebody could be musically inclined. Toxic relationship. Okay. So there's somebody here in an abusive relationship. There's definitely domestic violence going on here. Let's see what's going on. Something is very toxic. Okay, secret crush. Okay. Okay, let's see what's up. So already what I'm getting off rub, I feel like someone has fears about making a choice. There's a decision. There's a choice whether you have to make or th this is somebody else. You know, put yourself where the shoe fit at. You know, do not try to make something your story that is not your story. That's when, Don't put your own self in an illusion. Don't be delusional about this shit, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, don't be delusional now. You know what I'm saying? Um, Be realistic here. You know, put the shoe where it fit. Either it's your story or it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Or like I said, just put the shoe where it fit. Like I said, this if this is not you, this could be your person or, you know, somebody in your energy. But I'm definitely getting here. Somebody has to make a decision. Someone is afraid about making a decision. I feel like someone is in a very um, toxic relationship that I feel like they have fears of leaving or um, leaving behind here. I feel like somebody want to take a chance on somebody they have a crush on. So a secret crush here, somebody crushing on somebody. I'm getting shot this swing my way. Show looking good to me, so won't you please swing my way? Show this swing my way, swing it over here, shout it. Shoot, somebody feel like somebody looking good. They want you to swing their way. Some of you guys may end up going to, like, going to a bar or going to a restaurant to get a drink. And you may end up seeing somebody in a restaurant or somebody while you are getting, getting a little drink or having you a little drink after work or something. Somebody may catch your eye. Yeah. So fear, we got ex-lover. I'm getting somebody is, I feel like somebody is scared of they fucking ex. Somebody got a crazy ass motherfucking ex. I feel like somebody ex used to hit on them or beat on them or some shit like that. Or somebody ex just lo loony, that motherfucker loony being. Or somebody ex crazy as fuck. Somebody kind of scared of they ex though. Like somebody, <laughs> I'm getting that shit. Like somebody want out of some shit. Somebody crushing on somebody. They want to they want to take a, I'm getting somebody want to take a chance on somebody new. But they fear leaving or um, somebody else because they know somebody kind of off. I feel like somebody um they could have stopped fucking with somebody or don't fuck with somebody no more. But this ex still be stalking them or something like that. Yeah, I'm getting somebody that goes to you or you go to them. I'm getting like I said, somebody connect with you through music. I'm getting somebody intuition is telling them something here. We gonna clarify. Let's see what's going on for my for my um <laughs> Leo Sun Moon Rise and Venus in North. No, what the fuck is going on here? Yo, I told you third party. See, somebody got somebody. There's a third party situation here. Magnetic attraction here. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody's in a relationship, but they're attracted to you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody in a relationship, but they are attracted to you here. 
Somebody feel this magnetic treasure. Yeah, something, 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 something brewing here. Something brewing. I feel like I also feel like somebody want to reconcile with you. Somebody, somebody um has all of a sudden had these new feelings and emotions, or they have these I don't know some type of feelings for you. Somebody feel like y'all have unfinished business. But I'm definitely getting, you know, hmm. They could even be arguments about you. I feel like somebody may watch you and shit. And the person they with me like, why the fuck you always watching them? The fuck? You like them? What the fuck you got going on? You know what I'm saying? It's some shit like that. Somebody probably be arguing about you. Like somebody in their person be arguing about you. Like what the fuck? I'm getting some shit like that. Mm. Yeah, spirit. He's protect me as uh, of my social these energy spirit. Holy Spirit, the highest white light. Let's see what's going on. All right, Jermichael, please protect me as I'm showing this energy spirit. What's going on for the collective? What is the roll of the dice spirit? What's roll of the dice? What is roll of the dice over here? Hmm. What's this today? What I told you, Leo. What I told you, Leo. What I told you, Leo. Because you know, you just a vibe. You just a vibe. <laughs> Somebody counting down. I'm saying somebody going back and forth. They counting down like them. I'm ready to. I'm ready to make a move. Somebody ready to make a move on you. Somebody feels like you're their life partner. Somebody been going back and forth. They've been trying to make a decision. Like them. Somebody crushing on you. Like somebody want to take a chance. They want to do this shit. Somebody feels like you're the one. Somebody see themselves growing old with you here. Somebody see, yeah, somebody see gray hairs. Y'all having gray hair together. Y'all sitting in a rocking chair together. Y'all watching fucking old shows and shit you know like the old people you know like you know like the old people used to watch matlock and shit back then somebody see y'all watching old shows and shit the, sh the shows that y'all probably watch now bitch watching them bitch years later <laughs> yeah somebody definitely see you as somebody they can really spend the rest of their life with they want to do life with you somebody definitely want to put a rank on your finger they want to wake up next to you every morning and you and you guys and like it never gets old like you like you still have so much um attraction to each other it's still so much laughter and joy and playfulness between y'all even years to come like you just never like y'all never get old it's like the first time meeting it's like every time y'all wake up it's like the first time meeting it never gets old somebody sees that about you somebody definitely want to take a chance to just come towards you yup promise Somebody's crush, yeah, somebody's secret crush. I feel like this person is hiding how they feel. It's definitely a third party here. You got a third party here and third. That's twice. Somebody could have made a promise to somebody else, though. Promise to never leave. Promise to always stick by them. Somebody could have made a promise to somebody else. So they're hiding their feelings or they're hiding their emotions for you. This is like they're secretly crushing on you because they really in a situation with somebody else that they made some type of promise to. Yeah, I'm getting that healing here your constipation I feel like there's also a X here as well so I feel like you got somebody new and old there's somebody new that's crushing on you that want to take a chance on you, but they're attached to somebody else that they want out of. There's also an ex here that I feel like wants to heal something with you. You've done a lot of healing. I feel like you're contemplating, you're going back and forth. If there's somebody you would even want to fuck with again, because it took you so long to even heal from this person. It took you so long to even get to this point where you're, where you're at. And it's like, why the fuck would I take 10 steps back as I don't took 10 steps forward? trusting this shit i feel like you got fears of a lot of fears and anxiety about trusting somebody because you came so far with healing here yeah there's somebody that's in an unhappy marriage or unhappy relationship like i told you something over here is toxic i told you you got toxic out here third party toxic relationship i feel like somebody listen to music i feel like somebody be listening to them slow jams like i said i feel like somebody played the guitar i also feel like somebody listen to music and it makes them get in their feelings about you Yep. Somebody who could have disappointed you, left you. I feel like somebody want to make you a priority. I feel like this person left you 
or this person go to you or whatever to make somebody else a priority. Somebody they could have had a child with, that they could have had a little girl with. Somebody um, could have just abandoned, abandoned you or, you know, didn't give you no type of explanation for why something ended, why something was over, whatever. Because they, it's like somebody chose to fix something elsewhere is what I'm getting here. But they're unhappy in it. Yeah. Somebody dream about you too. Somebody could also astral travel to you. What I told you, secret or mirror, I'm telling you. Excitement. Somebody feel like they can have somebody feel like they can have a lot of fun with you. Somebody enjoyed the time that y'all spent together. Somebody sit up at nighttime and they watch you on their phone. Somebody got love for you. I also feel like somebody dreamed something about you. Somebody also could have got a reading on you here. As you can see with the reading here, somebody also got a reading on you as well. Something like that. What? You can't make this shit up. What did I tell you? I told you. Somebody's in a karmic relationship. Somebody's in a toxic ass relationship. It's karmic. There's a toxic relationship here that somebody is in. Somebody is unhappy as fuck with it. I'm telling you, somebody miserable as fuck. When I say miserable, bitch, they miserable. I'm saying right now, I'm talking about that shit even get physical. It get physical over there. In, in, over there. It get really in them streets over there. They do. And somebody is, yeah. But somebody has some inner childhood wounds they got to heal. I feel like somebody... Somebody had a strong magnetic attraction to somebody else is what I'm getting. Somebody could have got drawn in by somebody, um, you know, via lust. Something could have been very lustful or, you know, it was fun and all, you know, lovey-dovey in the beginning. But something ended up being toxic as fuck. And I feel like somebody got into a toxic relationship, a karmic relationship. It was for them. To, it was This was meant to force them to heal their inner childhood wounds. That's all this was for. It's karmic. It's karmic. It's a lesson it's meant for them to learn. Somebody needs to face their inner childhood wounds they gotta heal from. That's why they that's why they got into this third party. Yeah. I told you. It's gonna be a breakup here. Cause it's karmic. It's not meant for them. But I told you storm warning. It's coming. There's a breakup coming with somebody else. Somebody has a desire for you, but they in another situation where it's toxic and that relationship is karmic and it's only meant for them to heal their inner childhood wounds. If somebody got inner childhood wounds that they got to heal, it's what I'm really getting here. I told you. All somebody do is think about you. I'm telling you, all somebody do is daydream and they hide this shit. They secretly spy on you. If you got a, any type of Facebook, YouTube, anything, this person spy on you. Just period. They could they could spy on you behind a secret fake accounts here with the secret and the behind that is spy. Somebody's definitely spying on you in secret. It could be from fake profiles, fake accounts, and shit like that. I'm just getting that. Yep. I'm telling you. They tired of that motherfucker. They tired of that shit over there. I'm telling you, they tired of that shit over there. They be like, man, somebody about to take their chances and, and just say, fuck it. Yep. I feel like you're definitely going to make a head over heart decision when somebody comes towards you. I feel like you're going like to be very logical about this decision here. I feel like whatever decision you make, you're going to do what you feel is best for you. What I told you, somebody has really changed or somebody has went through a transformation or somebody just ended something. They ended something and they coming towards you to work with you. They want to they want to collaborate with you, work on something with you, go into collaboration with you here is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Life partner. I, told, I don't know. I, I, I feel like you're not going to fuck with somebody, though. I feel like you feel like it'll be a foolish decision. I feel like you're not going to take that risk. It's something like that. Yeah. Third party. I told you this emperor here. This father figure, this person. I don't know. I don't feel like you're going to fuck with this person. This could also be a same-sex relationship, too. I also feel like there is a mask in here. I don't know what the fuck is this. The fuck? I feel like, there, I feel like it's a mask in here, right? Who, who hating... On this Aries. 
you, you got another man hating on another man. It's some it's some hater ass shit going on here too. Somebody's jealous and envious though. Of this masculine got options. I feel like somebody got options, and there's a another masculine energy around this person who's okay. Still, this like a friend, right? Or a friend group. Somebody friend jealous of them, and like they hate on them or whatever. This could be a Sag or Aries, another Aries or Leo, Leo Aries or or another Sag. It can it could really be like an Aries or another Sag that's hating on this other Aries here. This Aries could want to talk to you, but they could be in, involved with somebody else. They could want to lead this person to come towards you, but they got this friend here. This could be a friend, but this person like them secret. This 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 person this 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 motherfucker fruity loot fruity tooty though. This somebody who fruity tooty that like their friend. They like this masculine. That's what I'm getting here. A soldier, somebody, a soldier, somebody wants to have a relationship or something with you. Then I told somebody fears commitment. I'm definitely getting that. Somebody fears commitment. Somebody spying on you and watching you. Somebody who's currently healing. This person, like I said, this person is, is, is going to go through this person. When this person comes towards you, this person going to be going through a break. They're going to be on just broke up with somebody. This person could be healing from somebody here, but they spying and definitely watching you. Yeah, they had a falling out. There was a fight with a third party here that they fell out with. Yeah, I feel like somebody is contemplating on manifesting you or some shit like that. Yep, you're going to get justice here. Somebody intuition. Somebody knows you're going to get justice in a situation. Somebody did you wrong or did you fucked up. Somebody knows you're going to get justice in something here. What I told you. I feel like somebody connect with you through music or something like that. I told you somebody's in some type of commitment. Yep. Somebody got pregnant. I'm telling you, it's what it is. Somebody stopped fucking with you to fuck with somebody else, period. And they chose to make it work with this person because they got this person pregnant. But I feel like they finna ghost this person. Somebody could be ghosting a water sign. Yup. I feel like somebody is discovering something in a dream. They're being shown something in their dreams. Yeah, about you. Somebody want to bring you a love offer. Yep, I told you. Somebody coming towards you. Somebody feel like you're fun. You're outgoing. They can have a good time with you. I told you somebody's hiding the fact that they're in a toxic relationship. I'm telling you. What I, I'm telling you, I told you that shit ain't going nowhere. I told you. It's karmic. This relationship is not going nowhere. They finna leave this shit out in the cold. They ain't got no feelings. It ain't no, but it's, it's just sexual. It ain't no feelings, no emotions, or nothing there. They finna leave that person alone. I'm telling you what I told you. Separation, breakup. I told you they finna leave that person alone. I'm telling you. It was only sexual. Somebody got sex. Somebody got lust confused confused for love. And they end up marrying somebody, having a baby by them, all that shit. And it was nothing but somebody's now realizing it was only lust. It wasn't love or none of that shit. Yeah, I told you somebody's walking away. Somebody's trying to apologize to somebody. Somebody's like, no, I don't want that fucking apology, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. That's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fuck with your girl. Bye.